Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine on this fantastic Sunday morning. So before we start with our daily content, a little reminder that right now we still have this special Bybit bonus going on. If you put a deposit of at least 0.1 Bitcoin on your Bybit wallet and also put in here the voucher code Alessandro the Crypto, you find it down below here in the video description, you will get additional bonus to this $90 that you anyway get here on the Bybit Rewards Hub. And also don't forget that there is still this Femex Traders Arena event going on, this competition where you can win at the moment up to 10 Bitcoin. The more participants, the more Bitcoins we can win during the event. So make sure to participate here on Femex if you are anyway trading with leverage Bitcoin and other assets. And now let's start with the content, my friends, because we had overnight a nice pump here towards our resistance currently here at around $11,500. So we are still in this triangle here, in my opinion, more like a descending triangle, which could break out to the downside potentially this week down to $10,800. The one hour time frame is also looking here a bit toppy. So here, in my opinion, we could see today or maybe tomorrow when the CMEs are going to start again, a possible dump towards here the bottom of 11,200 and potentially even a breakout here to the downside. But as long as we're not having a clear breakout out of this triangle, we cannot tell right now 100% if we're going to see continuation here to the upside or to the downside. But since the lower time frames are looking a bit toppy and the DXY on Friday was giving some bullish signs, like here in the one hour, you can see that we were breaking here the 20 moving average and also the RSI started to trade above the 50 level after giving us a buy signal. And that's why I think very likely that we're going to see some dump incoming here during the next week, potentially towards $10,800. And this support is the most important support to be hold in case that we are not able to bounce from here. Then I'm expecting a possible correction down towards $9,000. But as long as we are maintaining this support here, even if we see here a breakout to the downside, we are still remaining bullish and we should see continuation to the upside, potentially to reach our next level of $14,000. And now let's open up the Bollinger Bands here because in the one hour you can see that currently we are overshooting it to the upside and we're seeing a possible correction down to the moving averages, potentially even down here towards $11,370. This is also where the CM is also closed on Friday. So we have to wait till the CMEs are going to start to trade again to see if we're going to have a new future gap or not. Also stochastic is looking a bit toppy. So here I'm expecting a little pullback before maybe we're gearing up for another retest of these 11,500. But all in all, I think that this little pump that we have seen, it was just a usual weekend pump and we're going to retrace back to where the CME is closed on Friday. Currently MACD and KSD are still shifted to the upside. So here we are just waiting for a possible bearish cross before we maybe start this little pullback down here to where we close the CMEs. And then we're going to have to see what will happen here maybe tomorrow or during the next week so we can see if we're going to have here a breakout to the downside or not. In my opinion, it's still very likely that first we're going to have a move down towards 10,800 before we're gearing up for another big leg up because I think that this support is very strong at the moment and it must happen something really crazy in the markets that Bitcoin could lose here the support of 10,800 and head towards our bearish target of 9K. But as long as we are maintaining this support here, we should be good to go to the upside and I would consider to buy every dip that we're gonna have in the next coming days and weeks. And we can now switch over into the four hour because the four hour is starting to look again more bullish. We are now trading above the 20 and 50 moving average with this last pump that we have seen. We went above the 20 and 50 moving average and currently we are coming back down to potentially test these price level. So if you're coming down towards 11,390 and successfully have this moving average right now as a support, then it is very likely that we're going to squeeze out here between the 20 moving average and also this resistance up here at 11,500 before we're going to see another big leg to the upside here. So a breakout to the upside or potentially a breakout to the downside to retest the 11,200 and then potentially also have continuation towards the 200 moving average, which is perfectly lining up with our 
hour support area here of around ten thousand eight hundred dollar the good thing here in the four hour is also that we have the rsi above the 50 so in theory here the four hour is still looking very bullish and we should see continuation to the upside even a potential breakout to the upside is still in the cards and if we go over into the four hour Bollinger Band, you can see that right now we are trading on the bullish side. So if we're coming down here towards 11,380, we should have a close above this price level. Otherwise, this breakout was a fake out and we're going to retrace back here into the bearish side. And the bottom currently is also here at 11,250, exactly also where our main support is lining up. And we also have all the indicators now shifting to the upside. So we had here a bullish cross. So if we see now continuation and also a breakout here to the upside from this $11,500 resistance, I think we could even have the target of $13,800 because that would be here in our channel, the top at the moment. So it is very likely that we're going to see 14K very, very soon, but only if we're going to have here a breakout to the upside right now. If first we're coming down towards 10.8K, then maybe we first need another little correction before we're gearing up here for 14k and since we still have this future gap still down here at eleven thousand one hundred dollar i think it is very likely that maybe we come down first here to fill this gap potentially also bounce from this important support and then have another big leg up towards 14k because i think 14k is very likely to reach here in the next couple of weeks but first in my opinion we have another potential dump here towards ten thousand eight hundred dollar to retest and confirm this support and then have another big leg to the upside but of course we have to wait here for this potential breakout out of this wedge and we can now have a look into the daily time frame because here we still have some warning signs we still have this hidden bearish divergence in the daily we have here a lower high in the price and a higher high in the rsi so that is bearish and also since we are getting right now a sell signal in the daily time frame i think even though we could see maybe here some continuation to the upside or remain here for another couple of days at around 12k or maybe even a bit higher we will gonna see this potential play out of these bearish signs and therefore i think we will most likely retest this ten thousand eight hundred dollar if we're dropping below then watch out for the 200 moving average here at nine thousand eight hundred dollar this is i think where it's safe to go and start longing or buying back in into bitcoin and if we go lower then i'm watching here this main support at 9k which should in theory be a very very strong support right now if we're really coming down to these levels but as you can see this possible correction would bring us just one or two thousand dollars below this actual price level that we are in so if you look out for the big time frames like the weekly and monthly this is nothing so even if you go all in right now it doesn't matter for the long term you will be doing very fine but if you want to try to catch here some dips like we also had over here these are my price targets and this is also where i'm going to go all in again in case that we really have a dip towards these price levels we could even go towards 8k but if you're really dropping lower than 9k i will just add some more fiat in it and buy them even more and if we go over into the Bollinger Band in the daily, you can see that currently we are getting rejected here from the first moving average. And if we are not able to close the daily candle again above $11,400 and fight here this $11,800 resistance, then I think it is very likely that we're coming down to retest here the middle line right at $11,000. Potentially also have a wick or something below. But all in all, as long as we're closing daily candles above 11 k we should be good to go to the upside. We we still have MACD and KST bullish, only stochastic is cooling off here, but as soon as we're coming into neutral condition or maybe even into oversold, then we should be gearing up for another big move to the upside. And as I also told you in my last video, as soon as here I'm getting again a buy signal, I'm going to go all in again because this could be really one of the last opportunities to buy so cheap Bitcoin. And now we can head over into the weekly time frame because here you can see that the 20 weekly moving average is perfectly coinciding with our main support of this channel that we are in currently. RSI is also above the 50 level, so the weekly is still looking very bullish. And as you can see, also here in this channel with the top currently is right here at $13,800. So I think it is very likely that Bitcoin is going to stay for a very long time within this channel before maybe we are going to have another big 
big leg up and as soon as this main resistance of this channel is broken I think then we're gonna start to skyrocket at least towards 20k potentially immediately higher so I don't think that we're gonna have big rejection at 20k everything above $14,000 is still a bit no man's land so we just traded a couple of weeks above 14k back in 2017 and that's why I think as soon as we're breaking 14k we are ready to go and nothing should stop the price not even 16 or 20 K. And we can also have a final look here into the Bollinger Band in the weekly because as long as we are closing these weekly candles above $11,000 we should be good to go to the upside and also fighting here the top which is currently at $12,300. If we have a weekly close below $11,000 or even worse below $10,500 then I think we are heading towards a major correction potentially even down towards $8,500. This is currently the bottom here of the Bollinger Band in the weekly and that is always a good indicated to where potentially we could go if we're gonna see a huge crash like we also had here in March we even overshooted it to the downside but as you can see finally we retraced right at the bottom and since then we started here this uh, bull run the problem here is only that the MACD and KSD are still looking a bit toppy so here we could have a potential bearish cross in case that we're gonna see in the next couple of weeks a potential close here below these important supports the good thing is that the stochastic is now shifting to the upside so in theory we should start right now to fight this $12,500 top and then potentially also go towards 14k otherwise I think there is still some room left here for a major correction towards 9k maybe even a little bit lower before we're definitely gonna do bottom out and then start the ne next parabolic run to the upside so let's see where this week is gonna close hopefully we're gonna remain above 11k that would be very bullish even though I'm expecting a potential correction towards 10,800 to also close the new CME gap and then head again higher towards this 14k target that we still have here since this is our current top here in this channel that we are in and also this $10,800 is right here at our main support so if you are currently in a long position then scale it down to $10,800 if we are gonna see such a potential drop here towards this price level and if we're gonna have a nice bounce from it then you should be taking very nice profits up to 14 k but in case that you're not in a trade yet then maybe wait for this potential breakout here to the downside and then see if we're gonna have a bounce at 10.8k but if you think that we're not gonna see such a potential dump here towards 10,800 then wait here for the breakout of $11,500 and trade this breakout because in that case the target would be at around 14k so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to moon up the likes here also subscribe to the channel very important i do daily ta videos and also you're very welcome to join my other channels like the discord trading chat and also my channel over on twitch you'll find all the links down below here in the video description so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye